first song, it's a song called DIY. Um, it's, uh, I guess the short of it is it's about playing the, the worst show of your entire life to four people in St. Louis. Here's how it goes. In the corner there's a girl with purple hair making eyes Pretty sure she hates me I'm not cool enough to be here I struggle through a couple folk songs As the crowd trickles down the stairs As the folks gather around I'm met with mean mug stink eyes And hateful stares I'm DIY I'm punk as fuck don't need your money, I don't want your love I'm DIY, I'm punk as fuck Don't need your money, I don't want your love gets drowned out as the crowd talks over me oh, good. good studio audience here my girlfriend's making out with a face tattoo on the washing machine the tip jar is full of pocket lint Thirty-seven cents and one half-smoked cigarette. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. I'm DIY. I'm punk as fuck. Don't need your money. I don't want your love. I'm DIY. I'm punk as fuck. Don't need your money. I don't want your love. Oh baby, I don't want your love Just make me a mixtape of that band Parquet Courts Before they had commercial success and got on the radio And could functionally support themselves and their families Some asshole crashes into me Now I smell like skunky PBR My soul is crushed I've had enough I'd rather be at my delivery job I'm DIY I'm punk as fuck Don't need your money I don't want your love I'm DIY I'm punk as fuck don't need your money, I don't want your love, I'm DIY. This is usually the bar team sing-along part. Don't need your money, I don't want your love, I'm DIY. I'm punk as fuck, don't need your money, I don't want your love, I'm DIY. The girl way back there on the couch is not participating at all. Don't need your money, I don't want your love. Need your money, I don't want your love. I'm DIY, I'm punk as fuck. Don't need your money, I don't want your love. I'm DIY, I'm punk as fuck. Don't need your money, I don't want your love. I'm DIY, I'm punk as fuck. Don't need your money, I don't want your. That's the end. Thanks, guys. So how much of that song actually happened? <laughs> That's a very true story, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, we played the show early on. I think it was the first tour I ever did. And 
we played this place in St. Louis. It was like this real DIY venue, and we played in the basement, which was like this. It was like the Blair Witch Project. You ever seen that movie? It was real dark and concrete. Sounded brutal, and there was just like two homeless guys drinking, literally drinking uh, Colt forty fives, and two metalheads, and like they wanted me dead. The, yeah, it was. We were like this indie pop band uh, playing indie pop songs, and they were like they. They wanted insane clown posse, and we didn't bring it. You know, it was brutal. Well, we want you alive, so oh, I thanks. hope that I hope that helps. Um, thanks, Rachel. I you're appreciate welcome. It. So, uh, looking into your past a bit, I saw uh, not that I'm clairvoyant or anything, but researching you on the internet, um, I saw that you traveled around a bit. You've actually been quite a traveler. You lived in Vietnam for two years. Lived in Vietnam. So yeah, very into you, traveling for sure. For do sure. you uh, have a home base now, uh, and do you have a favorite place to just to be? Favorite country? Ah, uh, favorite country. I, I I usually would say my favorite country is to go and play music is probably South Africa. Um, that's kind of the first place I went, and it, I don't know, like no one really tours there, so for whatever reason, it's become this little pocket in time of just you know rad people and a good little indie circuit down there and. The accent's really fun, and the food's really good, and local, and really cheap, and it's just a funny accent. It's like, oh, ja, brew, like, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to South Africa and drinking our beer, and it's like a good exchange rate for you, brew, and we'll call my friend Willis, and we'll get fucked, brew. Like, the first year I was there, I had never heard anyone say getting drunk. We're, we're going to go out and get drunk. They just say, oh, we're going to go out and get fucked, brew. But good people, go check out uh, go check out uh, Johannesburg and Cape Town and Durban. Cool towns. Awesome. Much love. Cool. Well, um, I think that's probably time for another song. Song. I will take it away with um, with music. Okay, this song it's uh, it's a song on a new record called Land, Air, Sea, Garage, and it's uh, the number five song. It's called I Won't Die a Nun. I cracked my head like Humpty Dumpty did I met a girl who blew up London Bridge Her name was Jill, proved I don't know Jack As that bridge fell upon my back Rain, 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 go away Building straw houses, but they only blow away. Ride my way to heaven, but there was only hell to pay. Oh, I won't die a nun, no, no. But I might die today. Hey! I lived under your shoe, felt the shepherd's cane. I played all my cards with an extra ace of spades Still hands were never won, so right goodbye baby I still feel the same, but I know I've changed Rain, 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 go away I keep building straw houses, but they only blow away Ride my way to heaven, but there was only hell to be. Oh, I won't die a nun, no, no. But I might die today. Ba 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 da ba. Ba 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 da ba da da. Ba 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 da ba. Oh oh. That's the way it goes That's the way it's gotta be I'd love to bring you with me I'd love to get you free 
Rain, 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 go away. I keep building straw houses, but they only blow away. Ride my way to heaven, but there was only hell up here. Oh, I won't die, no, no, no. But I might die today. That sounded great. Um, So we were talking before about the third song that you're going to play for us, and it has a particularly intriguing title. Um, And I'll let you introduce it. Would you tell me, us, a little bit about that song? Sure. Okay. So do you guys, uh, do do you use Spotify at all? Do you listen to Spotify? Sure. Yes. Okay, cool. So... um, I mean, Spotify is it's pretty sweet in a lot of ways. I think it's pretty sweet if you're a listener. And, but I think at the same time, for indie bands you know, who make their living touring, it's probably like the worst thing ever. I don't know. Maybe not ever, but it's not good. Um, so I think that it's not an inherently evil organization. It's just the fact that probably the, the law can't keep up with the speed of technology and stuff. So there's like this, this infinite... Um, vast space of, oh, what do we do now? Everything's free. That's cool. But at the same time, I think we make like point zero 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 one of a cent on a song. I did the math once. It was like you needed 120 plays to make a penny. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I guess I am. Whatever. Uh, this song is called, it's a new song. It's called Fuck You, Spotify. you guys have a working relationship with Spotify at Paste Magazine? Not really? Okay. Nothing comes for free, but some of it comes cheap. There ain't no justice now, there ain't no art police. It's an upstream battle, up shit creek, where CDs are merely frisbees. So what do we do? As the little man, high fidelity's gone We're all digital trash All the love is lost through a fourth of the song If you ain't Gene Simmons, you better hold on All our favorite bands are doomed All our favorite bands are doomed We gotta save their lives We better do it soon and say Fuck you, Spotify I got a check for 11 cents Art is shot, recorded music is dead The illusion of victory, 20,000 plays Paid me seven dollars I should have been a DJ Copyright is fallacy Damn bureaucracy If piracy is George Bush Spotify is Dick Cheney All our favorite bands are doomed All our favorite bands are doomed We gotta save their lives There's only one thing that we can do And it's say Fuck you, Spotify. La da, 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 la You know what you have to do now. You have to release that song on Spotify, and and it'll be your like number one song. And then that's the what I'm worried about. <laughs> like the joke songs are like the most popular ones. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Do you think they'll post it if I try? Yeah, I'm sure, I think they have to. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, chances. Well, that maybe that would be a good uh, good press release if they wouldn't release it. Yeah, that Ray, the publicity guy, he knows that stuff. You can figure that out. Well, um, 
Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, where you're going to be playing coming up soon? Where can we see you? Um, Philly and Boston. Um, and, yeah, I, we'll just have to keep you posted. You know, I, I'm going to go back home to Milwaukee and regroup and recharge. And, uh, you know, should have a, hopefully probably a South Africa tour happening next year. And we'll be back. We'll be back in New York City. Super, super fan of this place. I'm a big fan. You guys are lucky you get to live here. And I was talking to Brad, like, Paste Magazine working here is cool because it's like a key to the city to go to all the shows, you know? Yeah. It kind of makes us feel well, better. Can I borrow it? Can I grab this big gulp quick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, thanks again for being here. Yeah, I'd like to thank Poland Springs for uh, sponsoring my career. <laughs> Proud, uh, proudly from Maine. And uh, learn about our springs at Poland Springs is way too expensive for a stupid bottle of water dot com. <laughs> I don't even get this for free. It's a terrible deal. What a horrible partnership. <laughs>